The career path for young racers dreaming of Formula One is tough. Run by ex-F1 star Ralph Schumacher and former Mercedes DTM boss Gerhard Unger, the US Racing Team gives youngsters an introduction to open wheel racing and helps them on their way to a professional career. Our goal is to develop young drivers actually for, for future uh, categories uh, wherever they go because when they come from karting, go to Formula 4, it's not really sure uh, what is next step. So hopefully Ralph's experience and my, myself you know, can help give a bit of our experience to them for their future career. It's not a Formula 1 car obviously, but I mean it is, it is really close out there on the track and I think it's also more up to the driver in this category and uh, which is also making it a bit more fun when you win, you know. Because there is always five or six cars within one tenth of a second, you know, so it's, it's really competitive. Us Racing's four driver lineup are cutting their teeth in an F4 grid featuring 32 drivers from 19 different countries. The series provides three races per weekend on the undercard of big events like DTM and GT Masters. It's good fun, it's a lot of cars on track, so it's very competitive also and you need to uh, do no mistakes. It's very tight to get all cars, so you have to be perfect on your race weekend. I mean, obviously it's always nice to have many spectators on track. You always want to do a great job in front of the bigger teams, like GT Master, GT3 cars. There are many, many important people on track on a weekend like this, so it's always important to do a good job. It's very nice to drive with a lot of fans and to see them every lap. It, it's just a great experience. Austria was the third of seven events for the F4 boys. Fourth in the standings, Denmark's Nicholas Nielsen was leading the team's title challenge and a third place in the opening race of the weekend was a perfect boost for an already keen team spirit within the camp. I think all of us are really funny. I think I'm the funny to make the most jokes. <laughs> I think we all make a lot of jokes and yeah, sometimes we do a little bit things which are not so nice, <laughs> but it's funny. <laughs> it's always good fun with all the drivers. I think Julian is one of the fastest from our team, so it never gets boring or anything because we always have something to laugh about and that's how it has to be, I think. Aside from the fun, the team provides a learning environment for drivers to gain competitive experience and knowledge as they build their career under the guidance of the team boss. Gerhard is um, is the chief, he is controlling everything, checking everything. He is always everywhere and for every driver there and that's fantastic. For the race uh, we sit together and also speak about what to do and what don't to do. We get a lot of support. Also with the engineers we speak a lot about how to drive and the good thing is I have also strong teammates so that's also important. It's not too difficult, for sure they need a bit of time and it's a bit different to karting, but actually if they are talented, if they are willing to learn, if they listen, you know, and the relationship is good, I think it's no problem to, to develop these drivers. Nicholas Nielsen closed out a fantastic weekend with another podium finish, putting himself and the team in prime position to compete for the championship in the second half of the season. Everyone is always happy when there is a driver who is winning, but I would say that if you are on the podium, you're definitely more happy and you, are, you feel more free to celebrate with the others, you know, but it's also a big boost for the team, you know, because they put a lot of work into it and it's also a nice way to, to give them something back. The most positive thing is that they come along together very well, they have good fun together out of the car as well, which is very important with teammates, uh, because otherwise they do not have the understanding also on track. So they are fighting hard, but fair, and yeah, we will see what the future brings.